at the heart of our neurological system of sharing kindness are mere neurons. Mere neurons are stimulated when observing another person perform a task as if we are performing the task ourselves. Neurons fire exactly as if making the movement yourself instead of simply observing it happen. When a person offers kindness, their own mirror neurons simultaneously create an inner feeling as if they were receiving it themselves. Kindness is hardwired into our being, and God has made it feel glorious to share it with others as it is being shared simultaneously in ourselves. The better our minds understand how others act and intend, the better our connection is to them. Imagine the simple kindness of a smile. Does it make you smile too and feel joy? This is an example of mirror neurons at work. But when we expect and intend hatred from others, that very same hatred courses through our own bodies. Rage will cause muscles to tense, raises heart rate, breathing to become fast, and an increase of cortisol stress hormones. Rage also limits access to the executive reasoning of our prefrontal cortex. When enraged, we believe that threats must be contained, and this becomes our preoccupation. The amygdala plays a role in governing what is considered a threat and what is considered not a threat. And when our emotional response is disproportionate to the stimulus, this process is called an amygdala hijack. Anger is often the result of fear. Just like a hammer might only see nails, if we allow ourselves to stop thinking with our prefrontal cortex and instead succumb to seeing the world as threat, then we may opt to fight against it. Through love and kindness, large parts of the cerebral cortex that govern judgment get deactivated. This is exactly the opposite of hate. Hatred mobilizes the motor system for defense or attack. This is why the Lord's Prayer calls us to forgive others daily. Hatred toward the other prevents us from loving them. We get locked into our own poison. That is why one of the most profound though challenging commandments of our Lord is to love our enemies. Neurologically, hate harms us. Stress hormones, high blood pressure, and intense ruminating are not good for us. Forgiveness is then truly a gift to not only the one whom we hate, but also to ourselves so that we can break the cycle of destructive neurological poison. And where hate directed at the outside world creates pain, self-loathing and shame directed inwardly produce pain too. Shame is sometimes defined as anger turned inward. Anyone who has felt shame knows that it has a real effect of deep pain. Forgiveness for ourselves is as important as finding forgiveness for others.